Okay, hello YouTube, welcome to uh, my like Technic Pack Let's Play. This is not obviously my um, Technic Pack world. I've been doing a lot of mining and I didn't record it. So I thought I'd show you guys what all the ores are. This here is copper ore from Industrial Craft. Also, I do have some of the vanilla ones. I just put every ore in my inventory that I could. Some of them do have new uses, so I thought, why not? So, copper ore from Industrial Craft 2. Mind this. We get copper ore. This is basically used for wiring and a lot of machines. Diamond ore. I haven't even found any of this yet. This is mostly used. All the new mods use a ton of diamond, so... I'll be replacing that with some other stuff soon. Oh my god, an achievement, yay. Okay, redstone ore. Uh, everyone knows what this does. It's gonna be a very useful in level and exchange. Drops a lot of redstone powder stuff. Copper ore from Red Power 2, you may be saying. Wait, wasn't there copper ore back there? Yeah, they both had copper ore. So, basically used for the same things. There are a few differences. Tungsten from Red Power 2, I don't think this has a use yet. And I haven't actually found any, it seems to be very rare. So, get rid of that. Nickelite from Red Power 2, that is used. Um, it's a dust, you put in a... Uh, what's the furnace called? Like, alloy furnace, I think? With, um, some silver, which is down the line somewhere. And you get, um, blue power ingot or something like that. And that's like, red, you know, red power and redstone, they basically have an on-off setting. This is like the um, Industrial Craft 2 wires where it um, like has a, a charge and it transfers energy and powers things. So, Also, for some reason, that's only dropping one. It's supposed to drop a lot more. Ruby from Red Power 2. No use yet, but it's a good replacement for diamonds in your tools. Because you'll need a lot of diamonds for other things. Emeralds from Red Power 2. Same thing. And sapphires from Red Power 2. Same thing. Silver. This is going to be used with our Nicolite to create the blue ingot things. Tin ore from Red Power 2. This is used interchangeably with the IC2 stuff. And I'm not 100% sure it's on its uses. I'm not too used to Red Power 2 gold. I don't think this actually has any new uses. There might be a few things that use gold in their recipes. Tin ore from IC2 is used in things like batteries and cells and that kind of thing. It's very useful. Iron ore from vanilla. This is used a ton in all these mods. So. Uranium ore from... Um, why did I put vanilla? That's IC2, not vanilla. So, that would be great if they had uranium and vanilla. Everyone be like, wait, when did this get here? Okay, so, this is used mostly for nuclear reactors. Lapis, oops, I broke the coal, but there wasn't much explanation for coal. So, that's all, we're gonna head over to my Let's Play world. Um, so, like I said, Doing a, I've been doing a lot of mining off screen. I was gonna record it, but it just would have taken up too much space. It would have been like three hours. I wouldn't have had a way to put it up even at like ten times speed. It would have looked well. I could put it up at that speed and would fan a video, but it would look very bad. So decided not to. So let's see if we toss all this stuff in here. You'll see everything we've gotten from um. All my mining. All of this. That is a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna take this flint here. And I also have some gravel. So, good thing about gravel is... I'm just gonna make myself a shovel first. Everyone knows gravel drops flint, but what you may not know is... If you place that gravel back, it still drops flint when you break it. So. Okay, so that stuff is now done. So, what I need to do is... I think that I should have enough for this. So, it's gonna be one of the things you'll see me crafting all the time. 
for cable. Very, very useful. Okay, so next thing. It's another one that is used a lot. Basically, every time I make a machine, I'll have to make one, I think. So, we have that. And I have one left over. And I didn't grab redstone. Whatever. I'll shape this out before I go and grab that. And that's why using one of these tables is much better, I think. Just need two. electronic circuit then we I think this cell was done like I said I haven't really mastered IC2 okay may starter now if I were to go this wall a little So, you're about to see why this is not like normal furnaces. Okay, this looks pretty similar, so I'll go grab some coal, split that in half, and drop it in there. So there should be fuel, right? And I uh, grab iron ore, because that's what I'd be using in here. Oh no, it doesn't work. So. That is why I'm going to need to smelt some tin ore and I'll be back when that's smelt. And here I am, I'm back, and look what I found. And guess where they were. Do not know how I could have missed them, but I did. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we're going to take this copper here. This iron. I need. Okay, so. Split that in half. And half. Okay. I don't really care that I'm wasting fuel. It's not going to be any huge problem. I'm right next to a cave with tons of it. I didn't bother mining. And I'm right next to a ravine. I did explore the ravine a little bit and go down this way. I went down. There was a path in the cave that brought me there. So. Might not even be in the same ravine. I just hope I don't fall in. So fast forward to when that stuff's done. Okay, so that stuff is now done. So what I need to do is I think that I should have enough for this. So it's gonna be one of the things you'll see me crafting all the time. Copper cable. Very, very useful. Okay, so next thing another one that is used a lot basically every time I make a machine I'll have to make one I think so we have that and I have one left over and I didn't grab redstone whatever I'll shape this out before I go and grab that and that's why using one of these tables is much better I think just need to electronic circuit then we I think this cell was done like I said I haven't really mastered IC2 okay may start now if I were to go this wall a little you're about to see why this is not like normal furnaces okay this looks pretty similar so I'll go grab some coal, split that in half, and drop it in there. So there should be fuel, right? And I uh, grab iron ore, because that's what I'd be using in here. Oh no, it doesn't work. So, that is why I'm going to need to smelt some tin ore and help back when that's smelt. Okay, I'm back, and I emptied my inventory a little bit. Um, so... What I need to do here is to make an Yeah, okay. So we need to make this. So 
here. Uh, so this is the last few we're going to be using, so let's go grab everything that I will need. I'll just take that whole thing of redstone. And I do believe I yeah, still have that cable. Okay, so this is already getting pretty complicated, so I'm going to leave put that in the wrong place, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So we'll get one of these, and what we want to make is a So there are two ways to make this. Well, no, there's more than that, actually. Like this. Like that. Okay, so this one I think will probably be easier. So we have to smite more. Um, oh no, I have. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to smite more for refined iron. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and this is almost. This is almost done. Sorry, my mic was a little farther away from my mouth. You might not have heard some things I said. But, um, okay, so I'm back, and almost done. Okay, so. Gonna make this, and what else did I, n okay. So, I need a furnace. I think it was like this. Okay, there we go, generator. So I actually think it might be easier to, just for future use, do this like this. I've never really done actually anything with the wiring, so I think it would be good to start now. Okay, so, I'm gonna need more wires, I don't really have enough, but luckily, I don't have to be using insulated wires in any way here, so I can just smelt this copper, and I think I might have extra here, don't I? Not there. Not there. Thought I had extra. Here we are. Okay, so. Eventually I will have to upgrade this, but not today. So. I'd like this all along here, and I can place machines here until I start upgrading them, and this stops being enough energy. I also need, should, might want to try and make a bad box this episode. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, coal. And I'll grab some iron. So, in here. I place my coal. Did something just... Did I just get hurt? I thought I just got hurt. Okay. So. This should be charged up. You see that thing's red and it was not before. Okay, yeah, what's hurting me? I'm not, my hunger is not down. Why am I getting hurt? Am, was I? Oh, okay. I was stepping on an uninsulated wire. I was getting electrocuted. Okay. So. This might actually be a good time for something else then. Okay, whatever. So basically, if we look in here, you'll see four iron dust and only two iron ores are gone. Basically, every time I rate one iron ore, I get six iron dust. Not six, two iron dust. Get two iron dust. So I'm going to head over to this furnace here. And you'll hear about notice why this machine is so useful. I'm getting one iron ingot per dust, so basically since I put it through the macerator, I'm getting an extra ingot for every ore. So that means th the two stacks of iron ore I had will eventually turn into just about four, four and yeah, a little over four stacks of iron. Same thing with gold, that will be like half a stack. 
obviously can't do it with coal and stuff. And the great thing is I can do it with all of this, like tin or silver or I can do it with all of that, even though it's not part of IC2. So, I'll be back once I have, um, macerated and smelted everything in here.